Hi everyone, we've found the first root of our cubic. So how do we factorize this thing to find the other two roots? I want to show you two methods. One is by long division and the other one is by a method called comparing coefficients. Let's do the long division first. We know that x equals 3 is a root, hence that's going to be one of my um, things. And then we put in the full cubic there. By the way, I didn't like that thing where I just said x minus that thing. What I mean is x minus 3 times something left over uh, a quadratic okay, equal to 0. So mm, that's even worse. What I'm saying is that if I factorize this, I'm getting of the form 1 root minus another root Ah, this is better. Minus another root. I'm after these two numbers. All right, so I've got one. So that's what x equals three. That's why I've written that here, and that's a full fx. This is how it works. Look, take this. How how many of these goes into x cubed? X two of them. And what you do is this times this and change the sign. That times that is x cubed. Change the sign. X cubed. This times this. It's minus x squared, change the sign, plus 3 to the x squared, and then do long division, uh, and then, sorry, subtract, what am I saying, That's 0 minus 2x squared. That's now into this, minus 2x, that times that, and repeat, so that times that, and change the sign, that is x squared, so it's obviously nothing to do down here because that's gone, so that's plus x squared. That times that's minus 6x, change sign, that's plus 6x, and we put it under here because it's the same power of x. Alright, so the powers of x should match. So there, right, that's 0 plus. Oh, hang on a minute. 2x times minus 3 is, my, uh, is plus 6x, I changed the sign, it's minus 6x. Okay, amazing how simple arithmetic proves so hard. Right, minus 6x minus 2x is minus 8x. Right, this into this, minus 8. This times this is minus 8x, change the sign, plus 8x, put it under the same power, 0. Minus 8 times minus 3 is plus 24. Change the sign, it's minus 24. 0. Done. So I factorized it. In other words, uh, this cubic is equal to x, um, x minus... x... Say again. So this cubic can be factored into x minus 3 and then we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 and this bit is a quadratic which you can solve using the methods that you've learned using the quadratic formula or using um, the um, completing the square method and there you have, you'll have three roots, you'll be able to write x minus 3 x minus plus minus something x plus or minus something and that's how to factorize cubic using long division. In the next video I'll show you how to do it using the comparing the coefficients method and then you can see which method you prefer. Okay, hope that's been helpful.